Hello. Let us study ecological pyramids. An ecological pyramid is a graphical representation of the relationship between different organisms in an ecosystem. Charles Elton in 1927 developed the idea of ecological pyramids. Therefore, these are also termed as Eltonian pyramids. Ecological pyramids represents how many organisms, that is the number of organisms, energy relationship and biomass of an ecosystem. The trophic structure, so trophic structure means nutritive series of a given ecosystem is determined by the interaction of the food chains. So these food chains involves producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers, tertiary consumers and so on. So thus this nutritive series of a given ecosystem is determined by interaction of these members of the food chains. The trophic structure and function of an ecosystem are often expressed graphically in the form of pyramid where producers are at the base and the successive trophic levels ascend towards the apex. The ecological pyramids are of three types, pyramid of numbers, pyramid of biomass and pyramid of energy. Regarding pyramid of numbers, the pyramid of numbers are represents the number of populations in the ecosystem. It gives the numerical relationship between different tropic levels of the food chain. So in broad sense, the number of population in an ecosystem is represented in pyramid of numbers. The numerical relationship between different tropic levels means how many producers are present as compared to consumers in a given ecosystem. The total animals in a community are grouped according to an arbitrary random, means not fixed, series of size ranges. There are always a large number of small consumers present than the large one. So normally there are larger number of small consumers than large consumers. For example, many insects feeding on grass. So insects are small consumers, then less number of frogs and other animals, which represents the large consumers. So the frogs and other animals are in less number than that of the insects. And therefore, there are always a larger number of small consumers present than large consumers. Thus, in the pyramid of numbers, there is gradual decrease in the number of organisms and a gradual increase in the size of the body of the organisms. Plotting this data gives a pyramid of number. So in the diagram, you can see the producers are at base and the different trophic levels are represented by primary consumers, secondary consumers and tertiary consumers. Generally, the base of such pyramid is very broad and it narrows down towards the apex because of availability of food, which is limited. The pyramid of numbers indicate that the producers which form the base of the pyramid are taken up as food by comparatively smaller number of primary consumers, that is herbivores. These are eaten by still smaller number of secondary consumers, that is small carnivores. These in turn are eaten by still smaller number of tertiary consumers, that is large car carnivores. The number of heterotrophs become less and less in successive trophic levels. The heterotrophs means the organisms feeding on other organisms or in the ecosystem. For example, in bluegrass field, the number of green plants or producers was greater than the number of herbivorous invertebrate in the level of primary consumers. So the green grass represents producer which are larger in number than the herbivorous primary consumers. The number of primary consumers was larger than the number of secondary consumers. The number of secondary consumers is larger than the tertiary consumer and so on. So thus, the 
number of consumers goes on decreasing as we go towards the apex. The pyramid of numbers is not very instructive because it does not reflect the idea about the relative size of the organisms because here we consider only the number of organisms. So if producers are large trees and the primary consumers are small insects, then the large trees are less in number than that of the insects. So the number of trees will be much smaller as compared to that of the insects or primary consumers. Then the pyramid will bulge in the middle and the secondary consumers will again be in less in number than the primary consumers and therefore the apex will be narrowed down due to large body carnivores. So thus the pyramid will look like a uh, in a diamond shape. Also for parasitic food chain, the pyramid of number is reversed due to successive stages of the parasite. So you will get inverted pyramid of numbers. The parasites are generally more numerous than their host. For example, a single tree supports a large number of fungivorous birds, which in turn may have very large number of parasites like plant bugs and plant lice. So in the diagram, you can see the inverted pyramid of numbers where producers are smaller in number as compared to the consumers. The advantages of pyramid of numbers, it is simple and easy method of giving an overview of organisms in an ecosystem by just counting their number at each trophic level. So we'll just count the organisms at each trophic level and we can get overview of the organisms in an ecosystem by plotting the pyramid of numbers. It is useful for comparing changes in the ecosystem at different seasons. So seasonal variations can be seen in the pyramid of numbers. Disadvantages of pyramid of numbers, the accurate measurement of species, species cannot be done. For example, we are calculating total number of insects, but there are many types of insects like grasshoppers, beetles, etc. So we, will, we are not calculating or considering the specific species of the insect, but overall how many insects are present or how many primary consumers are present in a given area is calculated and therefore it will not give accurate measurement of species. Then juvenile and immature stages are not considered. The size of the organism is also not taken into account in the pyramid of numbers. The next is the pyramid of biomass. It is graphical representation of biomass present per unit area of different trophic levels with producers at the base and the carnivores towards the apex. Biomass is the total quantity or weight of plants and animals in a particular area. It is based on the total dry weight or the total living material per square meter area. So the biomass is calculated as mass of each individual into number of individuals at each trophic level. The relation between producers, herbivores and carnivores become more or less evident from the biomass pyramid. So in the terrestrial and freshwater ecosystem, the biomass pyramid has broad base. The producers are about 1000 kg, herbivores about 100 kg, primary carnivores 10 kg and top carnivores 1 kg. While in deep open waters where producers are plankton, which are scanty and pyramid become inverted. So this is inverted pyramid of biomass in which producers are 4 gram per meter square, herbivores are 8 gram per meter square and carnivores are 12 gram per meter square. So producers are less in number or less in biomass particularly as compared to the consumers. In grassland having 
4,065 grams producers, which is grass, 174 gram of primary consumers, which includes insects, and one bird in 20 square meter, giving an average of six grams as secondary consumer, then the ratio of producers to consumer will become 22 by one. So this ratio 22 by one in dry weight between producer and consumer level occurs. Biomass falling outside this range will represent incomplete sampling of populations or populations out of balance. In balanced community, the total biomass of plants or producers is ordinarily larger than the biomass of herbivorous animals or consumers that feed upon them. The biomass of each consumer level is greater than the biomass of the succeeding level that feeds on it. So in the figure, you can see the dry body weight of producer, that is grass, is greater than that of primary consumers, that is insects, which is greater than the secondary consumers, that is birds. The advantages of pyramid of biomass are, it depends upon the reproductive potential, that means growth and multiplication of the organism and longevity, that is survival rate of the members of the trophic level. It overcomes the problem of pyramid of number as it considers in various stages as well while calculating biomass. In evolutions, the importance of trophic levels in the community biomass is more important index than number of individuals since it integrates size with numbers. Disadvantages of pyramid of biomass are only uses samples from population, therefore accurate calculation is lagging because biomass is calculated as mass of individual into number of individual. So we will take mass of one individual and if there are 10 individuals, then we will multiply it by 10. But all individuals did not have same mass. Therefore, the accurate calculation is lagging. Organisms of the same size do not necessarily have the same biomass or energy content and it varies with the seasons. The next is the pyramid of energy. It is graphical representation of the energy flow or productivity at the successive trophic levels of food chain of an ecosystem over a fixed time period. The production rate of energy at different trophic levels of an ecosystem can be represented by the pyramid of energy. And therefore, it is also known as pyramid of productivity. Metabolism is more accurate than biomass as it represents the rate at which energy is being utilized and work performed. Accordingly, the pyramid becomes narrower towards the apex as the energy becomes less and less at the higher trophic levels. As per Lindman's 10% rule, only 10% of the energy is available to next trophic level. And therefore, in the pyramid of energy, you can see the 10% of energy is utilized at each trophic level. The input of solar energy may be indicated as an extra layer at the base. So if it is 10 lakhs, joules, then 10,000 joule will be utilized by producers. Then out of this 10%, that is 1,000 joule by primary consumers. Then 10% of 1,000 is 100 joules by secondary consumers and 10 joules by tertiary consumers. The energy pyramid gives the best picture of functional nature of the communities. So there is decreasing rate of energy flow in the ecosystem. The basic principle of the pyramid of energy is the rate of production cannot be less and will almost greater than the rate of primary consumption. That means 
producers have more energy than that of primary consumers. The rate of primary consumption cannot be less and will almost greater than the rate of secondary consumption. So energy does not circulate indefinitely through the ecosystem. It is continuously dissipated or decreased to perform work and produce heat and therefore must be replaced continuously. The main source of energy is solar radiation, which is captured by producers in photosynthesis. Some of this energy transformed to higher tropic levels through predations. The amount that is transferred decreases at each higher trophic level. This is because the number of biomass to be supported at any level depends upon the rate of flow of energy through the food chain at any given time. The energy level of each tropic level has two parameters, that is net production and respiration. Therefore, it is measured in kilojoules meter square per year. So in the base, the producers, which are phytoplanktons, the energy level is 31,080 kilojoules meter square per year. Then at the primary consumer layer, the zooplanktons and worms, it is 7,980 kilojoules meter square per year. Then secondary consumer layer, where insects, larvae, and small fishes are present, it is 2,100 kilojoules per meter square per year. And at the tertiary consumer layer, where large fishes are present, it is 126 kilojoules per meter square per year. The energy flow can be estimated at every stage and represented in pyramid. It gives correct idea as to whether the ecosystem is developing or at steady state or decline. If the ecosystem is developing, then the, there is slight increase in energy level at each trophic zone. If it is at steady state, so there is no much fluctuation in the energy. And if it is declined, then there is decrease in the energy flow through the different trophic level of the ecosystem. Therefore, it gives the idea whether the ecosystem is developing or at steady state or decline. Advantages of pyramid of energy are, it shows actual energy transferred that allows the rate of production. It can be used to compare different ecosystems based on relative energy flow. Based on energy levels in an ecosystem, prediction on state of ecosystem where it is developing steady or decline can be done. Disadvantages of pyramid of energy are, it is difficult and complex to obtain energy data based on rate of biomass production over time because it varies with the seasons. Species distribution of organisms at each trophic levels also fluctuating as juveniles are not restricted to particular trophic level, especially in aquatic ecosystem, they are moving from one trophic level to another. So we'll summarize the ecological pyramids. Ecological pyramids is a graphical representation of the relationship between different organisms in an ecosystem. They are of three types, pyramid of numbers, pyramid of biomass, pyramid of energy. The pyramid of numbers represents the numerical relationship between different tropic levels of the food chain. Pyramid of biomass represents biomass present per unit area of different tropic levels of the food chain. Pyramid of energy represents flow or productivity of energy at the successive trophic levels of the food chain. The, all this over a fixed time period. Thank you.